Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're bringing Skyrim into World of Warcraft, playing as a Dragonborn, Mr. Dovakin himself. We went as an Orc, and we're going to be using this Dragon Warrior Legendary Enchant. So this basically turns your Death Wish into Dragon War, and sows nearby enemies, as well as does armor piercing damage. Then also increases your physical damage done by either 15 or 10%, depending on if it's a player versus a mob. And then your Bloodthirst and Executes empower your next slam to be Instacast and deal extra damage. And then trigger Dragon Fury, which reduces the cooldown of your Dragon Roar by 5 seconds. And increases the damage by up to 50%, stacking 3 times um, on 3 stacks. It also stuns, so that's going to be a huge damage bonus. Um, AoE, as well as just insane amount of uh, cooldown. And then if you have Intercept, you also learn Dragon Charge. So that propels you forward about 100% increased speed for up to 2 seconds until you impact. Um, and that does increased physical damage by 15 and then 10% for players. And on impact, you deal dragon fire damage. So that's going to be a pretty cool enchant. We're going to check that out. We actually went with this uh, in the little Xenia. So once we get to 15, we're going to try this guy out. I went with mostly a warrior start. We got Heroic Strike, Rend, and the good old Thunderclap. Um, nothing else so far. We're going to start out with that, see how that starts out. And then we have a couple skill cards we have bloodthirst which is very crucial for this and then also slam um, we have execute berserker stance is gonna do extra damage as well as increased crit and then also whirlwind just a tie in with the warrior esque mist of it um so yeah let's give this a shot see what kind of abilities we get uh we'll get these guys and see what else we can draft and let's get started let's see what abilities we start out with let's see got blessing mastery all right not too bad Drain Soul, not what we're looking for, and Thorns. I think we're going with a Blessing Master. Let's see what we get. Either Blessing of Wisdom, we have Blessing of Might, Attack Power, definitely going to go with that one. So that'll help out a little bit of a buff there. All right, well, we'll uh, see what else we get as we level up. Boys, we were absolutely shredding in this battle. We ran level 19. Uh, we really don't have a lot of abilities or anything, but we're just absolutely shitting on these kids. I'll show you right now after we kill this guy. Like, he thinks he's going to get away with it. We're going to kill him real quick. Yeet. Oh, he got the heal. Uh, and he's dead. We are 10 and 2. Leading the team with kills right now. Absolutely just shredding these guys. Dang, boys, we're still in the same BG. I just got the Wrecking Ball achievement. So we are actually 20 and 4 right now. We're absolutely just dominating this battleground. Um, just carrying this team. We're actually got the flag right now. Got like 100 health left. We're just shredding through these guys. Uh, I don't know why we're so powerful. We really don't have any gear. We have a couple things that we picked up just from the PvP chest. Um, this Rock Slicer is probably contributing a lot. We got this Critical Heroic Strike increases by 2%. Uh, that's probably pretty good. And then we also have the Insignia, which we haven't used one time yet. And we haven't even gotten any of the abilities for the Dragon Roar. So, Dragon Board, he's just built different, I guess. He is just shredding through everybody. Um, I also forgot to mention we do all the charge as well. We just picked up Mongoose Bite and the Wing Clip. Those seem to be proving very uh, very well. And then Corruption, uh, that is nice just to throw on, just if you're not in the range, if you can't charge, throw it on, does a little bit of extra damage. But yeah, not too bad so far. We're absolutely shredding everybody. Um, I think we're about to win as well. So I'll keep you posted and see what kind of other abilities that we get. So, boys, we have finally got to level 60. And I still have not gotten the main spell that we need to get this build working. Um, that spell would be that spell would be this guy right here, Death Wish. So I have rerolled countless times. I have gotten so many cards, and I even gotten a ton of um, the lucky ones and stuff like that. And then rerolling that, I was hoping maybe I got one of those, and I'll just do a prestige. Absolutely nothing. I don't know why that one does not want to drop. I've had talent points open. I've had like five at once and rerolled and nothing comes up. So I don't know what's wrong with that. I got pretty much everything else we would need. Um, but so far we got most of the gist. Um, Bloodthirst, Slam are the most important. Uh, Execute as well as Colossus Smash has been doing a lot of damage. So that's been handy to have. Um, and then just some other warrior based stuff. So like uh, Thunderclap, Whirlwind, Hamstring, Cleave, stuff like that. A couple decent buffs. So unfortunately as much as we've been just farming this, it just will not drop. Uh, it's kind of been a thing, I guess, apparently in Season 8. So we actually went on the free pick server on Area 52, and we ended up just farming out on there. And we do have all the abilities we need, um, so good talent. So we'll swap over that server real quick, and I'll show you a little bit of demo of the build. All right, we're over here on the Area 52 server, the free pick server. 
I had to hunt down a little bit to get the enchant that we needed. I just realized that the enchants do not carry over. So I had a lot of enchants here from previous uh, seasons and everything. We had a lot of gear though because we had this guy decked out for a while. Um, some of the enchants that we ended up going with were Unending Fury. So that's his flat damage bonus for most of our abilities. Um, here comes a big one for the Bloodthirst. Really good. Um, against all odds, big heal at the end of end of life basically. And then we also got Desperation, a little bit extra healing or extra damage depending on how much health you're missing. Uh, a couple little things like attack power based on your health, some extra health. Um, and then we also have this total strength increased by one. I haven't learned that one yet, so I do want to see if I can get a hold of that one and maybe add that a couple things. I do have to get these both uh, enchantable, so then I can add this one. We should be pretty strong. We're sitting at almost a little over 2,000 attack power right now, so really good. And 38% crit chance, so that has been coming in handy a lot. I have noticed that. Um, everything else we went with, we tried to keep it pretty simple. We got the Dragon Roar right here, which was a Death Wish. Um, we got the Charge, which was the Intervene. This is actually a pretty cool ability. You literally just run. You don't actually go towards anything, so you have to kind of, like, skill shot it. Um, Hand of Freedom, because I was just getting absolutely shredded against any kind of ranged. Um, a Stun, Interrupt, a couple heals, two heals. The Execute, we got Berserker Stance and the Devotion Aura for extra armor, as well as attack power from the armor, because... Our talents actually will give us, with armor to the teeth, how much armor you have to get attack power. And most of the other talents that we chose, some extra damage stuff, um, improved berserker stance, better pummel as well, so we can basically slap that as much as we need for the casters with special healers. Sudden death, which will come uh, in handy with some execute bonuses, um, just damage and haste, strength, um, strength again with some health, health is always important. And then we went with a lot of buffs as well. So Blessing of Kings, Mark of the Wild, we got Power Word Fortitude, and the Rock Biter. And then some armor stuff. So the Ice Armor, which will give you a slow as well. As well as all his armor is going to contribute to our attack power because of the armor to the teeth. And then we also have the Seal of Wisdom. Um, it seems to be not too bad so far. It basically just gives you mana every time. Or every once in a while when you're auto-attacking. So it's nice if we have to heal or throw Rejuve on. Um, and then mainly we just went with most of the same abilities. We went with the Recklessness as well for some extra burst. Uh, bark skin for some defensive. Just pretty much kept it simple. I don't want to add too many abilities into the rotation that I don't need. So let's uh, give a little shot of how this rotation will go. We would basically charge in there. Um, I have some Tell Me When add-ons or macros up here. Um, you'll hit with either Execute or the Bloodthirst. That will give you the Draconic Slam. Basically makes your slam instant. And then each of the time you slam, that gives you Dragon Fury. So basically a little bit of rotation, getting that Dragon Fury up, using your Sun and Death. Um, and then once you get to three stacks, you can use your Dragon Roar. And that just does tons of damage. That also gives you a 10 to 15% bonus in physical damage. And then basically you just follow the cycle. So execute when that comes up, slam it up, Bloodthirst while you're waiting, get the execute back up, do another, um, what was it, another Roar. So yeah, pretty cool so far. Um, pretty fun as well in PvP. Um, also, don't forget the hamstring, especially in PvP. I got a little uh, tummy win for that, a little prompt. And yeah, not too bad. I also got the Berserker Rage. So if uh, we get feared or anything like that, it's nice and handy. And then the Colossus Smashes does a lot of damage as well. So yeah, I uh, set these up. It's probably going to be pretty loud, so I might have to tone this down a little bit. This guy's over here just laying. Do another uh, roar and swatch damage. Ready? Boom! So that almost forty thousand. Uh, yeah, it was a couple couple bots, but it does does prove pretty strong in uh, both PvP and in dungeons and everything. The he few heroics, a little bit of gear. So we'll hop into a battleground, see how it fares against some of these guys. All right, let's get in there, boys. Your miles will definitely vary on your experience with this enchant if you're still on the draft server, um, because this server also goes to level seventy. And everyone else in the server has basically been able to play a lot longer without any kind of any kind of like a reset or anything like that per season. Give him the dragon roar. This guy is not dying. There we go. Also, when we charge with our uh, dragon charge, we get damaged. Like a cone of damage, of flame damage, I believe. Kind of like a dragon breath. Cap this flag real quick.
Poink. All right, we just hopped in a uh, random dungeon. We got into the Blood Furnace. I've been playing this one back in the day on Death Knights all the time. See how we uh, how we fare in this guy. I fixed uh, my talent point as well as got a new weapon from that PvP uh, little PvP chest cache, whatever you want to call it, a little satchel. Oh yeah. I guess we're a little bit high for this one. I think everyone else is around 60 and I'm 70. But uh, we're just shredding through these guys. They have like no health. Run up to this guy and give him a little smack. I just one tapped him. Take out this warlock. One tapped him with the slam, almost an 8,000 piece slam. That's nuts. And him with a dragon roar. Him with the execute. Just destroying. I don't even really need to follow the rotation either. Can't wait to face the boss and see how much damage you do against him. Alright, boys, we're going right for him. Pop the recklessness. Give him the slam. The execute. Execute and let's get Dragon Roar. There we go. Almost 15k. Jeez. Insane. Oh, they charm me. I'm going to go end up killing my team. Oh. Someone's got Deflate Corpse or something like that. Get back over here and take this guy out. There we go. He's dead. Nice. Oh my goodness. He fell right on me. I think I'm stunned. There we go. Absolutely just shredding. Between two and three thousand uh, DPS in this dungeon. I know I'm a little bit higher from this dungeon, but should be somewhere around there as well. Boom! Sixty-four thousand. God damn. This guy thinks he's tougher, so I'm throwing dynamite at me. There we go. They're all dead, just bodies and corpses. Sweet. Let's see what uh, how we fare against this next boss up here. Oh, let's a little, little rogue over here. Let's take him out real quick. Oh, I didn't have my instant cast slam. There we go. Alright, here comes the boss. Let's take him out. Pop the recklessness. Charge him in there. Get the uh, slam going. Give him a little dragon roar while we build up the rest of it. And here comes a big one, too. Hit the Colossus smash. The bloodthirst. Boom. Another second and a dragon roar. Boom. Oh, we got a legion blunderbuss. Pretty neat. Oh, we got a big one too. Him with the Colossus smash. The execute. Wait for the recklessness. Pop that. Slam and boom. 7,000. Not too bad. Let's get another uh, dragon roar on the way. Oh. Look at that. He's he's tough or something. There we go, boys. Him with the dragon. Dang, almost a 15k, and I hit him to execute. He's dead. Nice. Nothing really interesting for us to loot, but that was a, definitely a fun run. Did some good damage. The only thing that we kind of suffer from is um, AoE, but I think I might just throw in like a whirlwind or something to clap in there just to mitigate that. And uh, we'll check out maybe a heroic if we get into one. All right, boys, we got actually into a heroic. Uh, we're over in this place. I don't think I've ever been here before. A little bit strange, but we went with a thunderclap to hopefully uh, assist in our AoE. Oh, look at this side. This guy, this Rift Keeper. Oh, yeah, here we go, boys. Time to test our metal. And slap. Oh, yeah, almost 45k. Yeah, so right in line with what we were doing with the uh, regular dungeon. And if we keep our our slam buff up, as soon as Dragon Roar comes off, we just slap it on. Give him the little Fushro Da. And then also our slam when we uh, use it instacast, increases uh, decreases the cooldown of the Dragon Roar, so keeps it uh keeps it usable a little bit more often. It's not too bad though, 25 seconds by default. Take out this big boy right here. 
doing pretty good so far. We're definitely carrying damage the majority of the uh, counters we have. Oh, this water's a little bit of a pain, but... And there it is. He's down for the count. Nice. Nothing really too crazy. We're in the heroic. Let's see. Yeah, it's nothing really too great. But we got our achievement done. A little bit of money right there. No uh, bag. That kind of sucks. Yeah, pretty fun uh, little run, though. Struggled. We made it back to Stormwind. Definitely a fun little build. Really good damage. Uh, definitely cool rotation and pretty easy to cycle through. Not a lot of things you have to really manage. Just a couple little things here and there. Um, some good damage. Good mobility. Um, good for AoE dungeons and PvP, which is pretty cool. And definitely a lot of fun. So don't forget to uh, check out some of the other builds we're going to be doing. And subscribe so you don't miss those. And we'll catch you later.